Hey Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the week ahead. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Libra affects your chart. You can take this energy and apply it to that aspect of your life or yourself. First, we're gonna start with the tarot, with the uh, oracle card spread. We're gonna do full oracle card spread here. And I will flip the camera so that you guys can, I'll review the cards with you. Um, and then below, there's going to be an extended video as well, if you like. Uh, that's a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this. This is Libra. Libra energy for the week ahead. Libra energy for the week ahead. Libra energy sun, moon, rising. Libra energy for the week ahead. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, Libra. Let's get into this for the week ahead. Crowning your energy. That's a sexy card. It is. It is. And I hope I don't get flagged for saying it. It is. It just has a very sensual quality to it. The wonderful sensuality about Wolf is that it's so, it's reliable. It's faithful. It's loyal. But it's also mysterious. In other words, this is a kind of loyalty and a faithfulness that is not easily won. You know that, you know, Wolf doesn't just go around being there for everybody. Wolf does for you what you do for Wolf. There's a wonderful sense of balance, which affects you guys um, directly. There's a wonderful sense of balance about Wolf in that his, his loyalty is earned, you know, but once his loyalty is earned, it's unconditional and you have it for life. So there is a calling this week toward the mentality of Libra, know your self-worth. And before you give your loyalties away or before you decide that you want to make everybody happy, make sure that the people that you're making happy are people who actually deserve to have your efforts. Not to say that you will, don't, I'm not to say that you should get bogged down in deciding who should be happy and who shouldn't because nobody is God and nobody decides that except for maybe yourself, right? Like decide that you yourself deserve happiness. So that's one statement here is that you have to decide that you yourself deserve happiness, but also that not everybody that enters your life to be discerning, to have the instincts of that wolf who not only has heightened smell and heightened hearing, but he has heightened intuition. And that's why wolves howl, howl at the moon. They have a song to the moon because the moon is the light and the darkness that reveals those things that otherwise would be hidden. They have the song to the moon. And so this is you singing your song to the moon, connecting with your intuition and trusting it and knowing that loyalty for Wolf is earned. Now, once that loyalty is earned, that's cool. You're all in. But Libra, this is a be discerning. Be discerning and be that light in the dark and see in the dark and use your intuition to be that light in the dark this week because the sense of the sense of you being drawn or pulled or it, it, yeah, it being like you being tempted toward trying to please everybody and trying to make everything right and trying to make everybody happy, especially going into the holiday season, right? Where there's so many people around that we don't maybe see often. There is this mentality. There is this sense of not have, oh, yeah. Is it a guard? It's not have your guard up. No, it's not be on guard. It's, this is not a warning. This is a mentality. This is almost like King of Cups energy in that, you know, he looks at everybody from the side because he knows that not everybody really deserves to approach him. And so it's the energy of tell me why. Show me why. Show me you show me your soul show me exactly who you are and then i will approach you and then i will trust this food that you're leaving out for me show me what you're made of so this is a sense of uh watch out libra watch watch this week not watch out i don't see i don't want to put you on alarm because this isn't high alert this is be discerning be discerning and watch this is turn knowledge into wisdom. So what you see, now put it together. You're going to see one, and you're going to see one, and you're going to see one. And the universe is saying, now see that one and one and one is three. Do some adding and be discerning. And just let people know that you, you are more, you because, you know, listen, you guys, 
will be very loyal to people and can be very driven to make everybody happy. But do they deserve it? Is it worth it? Well, let's see. Let's see. That's all I'm saying. Let's see. Be discerning. And let this be something that you learn and apply to the rest of your life because it's something that will help you level up and have a better life. If you're on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm going to insert one in here right now. That was our crowning energy for the reading. There's still a whole spread ahead, so I'll see you back in 30 seconds. All right, guys, for those of you who don't have to worry about commercials or for those of you who sat through a commercial, thank you because that's actually a sponsorship of the channel. So I appreciate it. More into this very intriguing energy coming out for you. Wolf is also the energy of somebody seeing you, somebody spotting you, somebody admiring you or watching you. In other words, this is an overall crowning energy of be more discerning yourself. But there's also this energy in terms of the, to the total of somebody watching you. Wolf is an energy. When I see this card, it is the wolf looking through the forest out into the clearing. And the wolf doesn't run out into the clearing. The wolf sees in the dark and looks through those trees and ascertains the situation. Somebody is watching you. And I don't want you to feel like, what is it? Somebody feels like, I always feel like somebody's watching me. I don't want you to like the, the number one hashtag paranoid song of the 1980s. Like that's not what I want you to think of. I want you to think that somebody has definitely, you've got somebody's attention. You have definitely captured their interest. Okay, okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo or maybe this is very earth energy, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's somebody who is, this is a loving energy. So it's not, in other words, it's not a stalker energy, you know, but it is somebody who is trying to assess let me think, do I trust Libra? Do I, will they be there for me? Will they really be around? You know, there is somebody trying to assess your value. So it is not just, like I said, this is general energy right now, guys. So it is not love or relationships necessarily. That reading is, there's the link below, but it is somebody assessing you, assessing you for your quality, just to see. Understand Libra, they have not made judgments yet. They are assessing you. They are assessing you. Um, reclaim your power. This is definitely somebody watching you. And this has a more sensual undertone of um, truth coming out of the dark. Somebody understanding something that they hadn't understood before. Maybe finally realizing something about you was better than they thought. Because lay a solid foundation is here. This is a very reliable energy. This is a very heartwarming energy. This is a green heart chakra energy. So this is about establishing a relationship with somebody, somebody that you want to go long term with. Now, this also could be about laying a foundation for your business or getting a new job or, you know, looking at different kinds of financial institutions and who do I invest with and being very discerning as to what stock do I put my money in and do they deserve money? See, this is all that energy. It could be applied in so many ways, but it's about discernment this week. It's about before you jump, look. So this is not a weak Libra to take, ooh, a leap of faith and just go in. Believe me if it were, because sometimes those are the weeks. This is like, this is the moment, jump. Not this week. This is a week where you, 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 the energy, this, the, in other words, things are clearing. So you will be able to discern very well what is the quality and what is not the quality. But there is a sense of look before you leap because what the universe is giving you this week is not just the gift of jump into it. It's the gift of clarity. It's the gift of discernment. It's the gift of the veil and the craziness now having shifted back to making more sense and things calming down. So maybe looking over things, not necessarily looking back, but looking over things in front of you to assess the quality of those things in front of you, of those opportunities in front of you. Lay a solid foundation. This is either you or somebody else considering you, considering you for something that is long-term, um, something important to them, close to the heart chakra. When I see six, I always think of um, 
I always think of the six, uh, six card is a major arcana card in tarot, and it's the lovers. So anything that, anytime a six card comes out, this is the energy of something that matters to somebody's heart. Something that matters a lot to another person or another group of people. And so it makes sense that, sense that their discernment is, um, I just got this message that there's understanding, I think, on both sides that's going on here. Um, understanding of both of the both both parties um, seeing something in the other that is worth a further investigation or that has caught the attention and caught the interest so let's keep going let's see reclaim your power it, it's also a message of the statement under parents uh, panther spirit it's also this energy you know this this statement of know your self-worth you know understand that like for example this is a good good example when you go in for a job interview they're not just assessing you they're not just interviewing you you're interviewing them and libra you would have the tendency of how do i please them how do i make myself appealing to them well this week is the week where you would walk in that door are they appealing to me asking more questions about the position Asking more questions about the company culture. Thinking, because remember, what we've earned in the past week is our sense of self. And that liberation from feeling like we as Libras, I'm a Libra rising, have to always please other people. That that's, that's our primary. Because what we've realized is sometimes that put, lends itself against, counterbalances what we really want, which is balance and harmony. We're always trying to find harmony. But sometimes our eagerness to please, which we think is making everything harmonious, is actually what is actually throwing things out of balance and out of harmony. Because not everybody deserves to be pleased. Not everybody deserves that kind of attention from us. So it would be about, not about arrogance, but about discernment and saying you walk into that, you know, you walk into that interview and you say, well, tell me more about the company. Tell me more about yourself. And if I had to ask you from more of a personal stance, do you really like the company culture here? What is your favorite part of the company culture here? So it's walking in with a sense of confidence that I deserve to be happy too. And they get to interview me and I also get to interview them and to see, oh, I don't have to prove myself just so I can feel validated by a job offer. No, no, no. I know that I'm worth it. I know that I deserve opportunities. Is this company deserving of me? Do they deserve the opportunity that is me? It's not about arrogance. It's about a tendency toward doing too much for the other side and making sure that you're doing enough for your side to, to maintain your solidity, to maintain your foundation, to maintain that part of you that is strong and is balanced and, and has a feeling of self without the validation of somebody else. And I think that there is almost like, I feel like, like, a, like a, a panel a sort of a spiritual panel that's watching you and saying, did Libra get it? Did they, did they, did they understand what we were trying to tell them? This is not a pass fail, but this may be a little bit of a test to assess, look, claim your independence is upside down. So this definitely is still an extension of a lesson of, have you learned that sense of self yet? You know, we're, we want to see because if you haven't, that's okay. Now we're going to need to know what other lessons to send you. So there is a feeling, Libra, also, I will say this, of not wanting to be alone. You really do love to be in relationships. You love love. Understood, you're ruled by Venus. How can you not? So there is a sense of, I really want to be in a relationship. Okay. And with that mentality, that egging on, see, Venus is in Sagittarius. This is a very free feeling for Venus, right? This is a very, oh, I'm looking around. I'm, I'm playing in here. This is good. This is a playful energy when Venus is in Sagittarius. It's a very benevolent energy, but it's very playful. So maybe you're just on the market and you're starting to look around. Oh, watch your words. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Don't give too much away of yourself. Don't volunteer too much, right? Don't say too much. I'm not trying to say... Don't lie at all, but but watch how much you tell people or let, watch, watch how much you let them know. Watch how quickly you give the pieces of yourself away. This week, there could be a temptation to be over-accommodating or now is a lucky time. 
That's really interesting. This energy wanted to be pulled out. So there is a lot of good, good juju, good energy in the air for you guys. So maybe just baby. Um, you can increase... See, when I see rabbit energy and rabbit spirit, this is about being able to increase abundance you already have. And for me, this is about increasing your internal sense of abundance, making sure that you increase it. So when times when it, the, the stock gets low or the fuel tank gets low, you still have enough in there for yourself. So watch what you tell people and watch the advice that you give too this week. Be generous of spirits. See, this is, this is upside down. So this is your sense of self still being. Don't give away too much of yourself this week. Because in general, in general, overall, right? That was a general energy for the reading. But also in terms of how much you serve people up with, the wor with words. Also, please be careful about the words that people are serving up to you. Because they may sound good. They may sound good, but they may not be necessarily going to be working in your favor. They may be very convincing words, but you have to make sure and be discerning about are those words going to follow through? Are those words going to be um, lasting and reliable? Uh, you want to know once again that this has been a quality that has earned you. It's very interesting. Clean your independence. Watch your words. Now is a lucky time. I'm going to pull the last card for you guys and then flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. Some, some, somebody who has maybe disappointed you with the person that you found out that they are, that their words didn't add up. They promised a lot. And they're not necessarily a Leo, but they are sort of an egotistical person that promised a, a great deal, but is coming up short. Sweet results await. So this is a very beautiful time for you. It's very interesting. Almost like this is a, this is a beautiful time for you, but you're not fully aware of just how beneficial this energy is for you. And maybe that's why I'm asking you to sit back and assess just how good things are. Or how good it is that people are talking about you, you know, and it's better this, this week is better for you to listen, listen to what other people are saying and then use what other people are saying and their opinions of you to basically ascertain how to move forward. It could give you, it could give you an edge on how you move forward. Hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around. We'll review. Hold on. Okay, Libra, here's your full spread. Here's your full spread. Crowning energy is wolf spirit. Look, he's very calm. He doesn't have a sense of ego, and this is what I always love about canines. They don't have an ego, but there's a wisdom around these eyes. There's a truth, you see, almost like angel wings around his eyes. He sees with very innocent eyes. He sees with very ego-free eyes. You see that? How beautiful. It's like angel wings, knowledge and wisdom around his eyes. Seeing with an open mind without prejudice, but just really clearing the thoughts, clearing the cobwebs and ensuring that he sees with an open heart. I think that there could also have been a situation where words were passed. Maybe things were said that either between you and another or, or from you to another or vice versa because these energies could always flip. Um, there's words that could very well have been said that were flippant, hurtful, or overreaching and overpromising, a promising too much. Something that was promised that from, from somebody who didn't have the integrity to really promise it. And so you're sitting back and you want to watch and you want to make sure because the truth is you were sort of tempted by this person. And maybe just maybe a week ago when we were in Mercury retrograde, you might have fallen for it. But this week you're not going to fall for it because you're going to be able to something about those words is going to shake up an alarm in your head to say, well, let me sit back and just see. Because the truth is this week you realize you do have enough and you have a, a, that's why you have such bounty and abundance this week. It's in your sense of self. 
in your sense of what you have already with the rest of the world, that you're going to be okay. You don't need to rush into this new opportunity that might be better than it sounds. So what we're going to do, Libra, is hop on over to Vimeo to have a deeper read into, um, you know, what, what this situation is and who exactly is sizing you up or who you're sizing up and what it is exactly that you need to be aware of because sweet results await implies that there is going to be a happy ending to this scenario. So we'll get those details and we'll also do your romance reading. I'll see you over there.